welcome to Miriam's do-it-yourself tech support. Watch, learn, resolve. We're here today to, to learn how to install a cryocycle collar and then a dipstick into the collar. So the first thing we do is we take a, a towel and clean off the surface of the cryocycle where the collar will be installed. Uh, the next thing you do is you you take the collar and do the same thing. You clean off the mating surface of the collar, make sure there's no debris, dust, or contaminants in the way for making the seal. Uh, after that, we take our, uh, our supplied vacuum grease. So you just take a little bit on your finger, about a pea size amount, and uh, you can see the the clamp ring and the screws are already installed, so you need to push the screws down so you'll have the flat surface to install your grease on. So that pea size amount, you just spread it around on this edge of the collar and try and get a nice even film throughout the collar. Okay, the next step is you find on the bottom of the collar, there's all these grooves. You find the largest groove. The largest groove aligns with the probe that shoots down inside the collar. So here's the groove, here's the, the probe. So it'll always be this direction. So that the fill vent is facing the warning label. So put that down. We take our uh, 764 Allen hex wrench and we screw down our three screws. Screw them all till they just touch the top of the mounting ring and then go back and tighten them down. Tighten them down hand tight. It is possible to over tighten the collar. If you tighten it too tight, you'll deform the collar and make a, a potential leaking path. So hand tight is all you need to do. So that's the collar. The collar is now properly installed. The next thing we'll do is we have to remove the, the vent plug because when we put the, the dipstick into the system, the, the gas that's displaced needs to vent. Before we put the dipstick in, we need to put our Delrin collar on. So you can just slide that on first. Okay, the next thing we need to do is get our, our silicon spray bottle ready. If you put it in just a little bit, maybe a half inch, just till you feel it sit on the bottom rib, and you just spray it. One time is all you need, one squirt. Then you take and you turn it halfway in one direction, then you turn it halfway again in the other direction. So it'll be completely spread around the whole dipstick. Then the thing will slide right down. You don't even have to push it. You keep pushing it in until it hits the bottom of the doer. You be careful. You don't want to push it down too far. Okay, once it gets to the bottom, there's a little cup on the bottom. You need the dipstick to land right inside the cup. So wiggle it back and forth a little bit to confirm that you made it in the cup. If you didn't make it in the cup, you may have to take it out and put it back in again. So I have it in the cup. Once it's in the cup, you want to pull it out a half inch. But before you do that, get your wrench ready. So pull it out half an inch. Then we need to clamp down our Delrin collar. The reason you, you take it off the bottom of the doer is there's vibration associated with the cooler. And if the, the dipstick is touching the bottom of the doer, uh, the vibration will transfer to the dipstick and it might cause microphonics. So last thing you need to do is plug your, your vent plug back in. So there we have it, a fully installed collar and dipstick. We hope you found this video instructional and useful. If you have further questions, Murion is here to help. 
We offer a complete technical support staff along with a fully trained group of field support engineers to support all your service needs. Please call 1-800-255-6370 for further assistance.